Check out this video from Las Vegas of an alleged UFO crash into someone's yard. Now, this is a police ca- uh, police um, body cam footage. Go ahead and check this out. It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro police officer's body cam catches this. Right, that's enough. Something flashing low in the sky. 911. So that was the video of a light crashing into someone's backyard in uh, May of 2023. Check out this video that the residents of the home recorded of it after the crash. I can't translate. now it's wrong that the supposedly if you look hard enough at the forklift in that video you can see an alien that's what they're saying i don't know man it's like we're 2023 everyone walks around with a 4k video camera in their pocket and still, I mean, the, the alien photos look like, or the, the videos and, and, and photos of aliens look like they were recorded on a potato. Also, an alien. It's intelligent enough to fly all the way over here from God knows how many light years away. Crashes into the earth, gets out, and the first thing, is, the first thing it does is sit in a forklift. I mean, and it's not even forklift certified. <laughs> OSHA's got something to say to you, ET. Okay. No, so here, here, check out the nine one one call from the family. This one's in English. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and listen. We'll play the whole thing. Go ahead and listen to it. There's like an eight foot person beside that's it. That's not a video. And another one inside, and it has big eyes that's looking at us, AI. and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So there's, two, of it. so there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. John Nine Fetterman. feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. And big eye mouth. They're shiny eyes and... And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. Yeah, that was a WNBA team, actually. No, no. So here's my thing. They've been, if you've paid attention, and we try to cover it on this show every time some big news comes out about aliens or UFOs or ETs, and we don't just do that randomly. We do that because I see a pattern here. They've been trickle-truthing this ET thing for quite a while now, for the last couple years, right? Remember five years ago, they wouldn't even talk about aliens. You, you, you'd be hard-pressed to find any active government official that would even acknowledge the subject of aliens. It was pretty much reserved for late-night talk radio, your coast-to-coast AM or podcast, TikTok, YouTube conspiracies, whatever, right? The depths of the internet. It was always the fringe for people like Dennis. You know, it was never, it was never a big deal, right? They, they never even, they, they didn't give it the time of day. Now, I mean, you've got NASA giving their first ever their their first ever press conference on UFOs and UAPs. You've got, uh, I mean, like various congressional committees. You've got all this stuff about balloons and objects getting shot down. Not the uh, Northern Illinois bottle pop balloon brigade that Joe Biden shot down. I'm talking about the other ones. Very embarrassing moment for that moron, by the way. Uh, so you, you've got all this stuff coming out about aliens. Then you get this report about something crashing into somebody's backyard and you have a 911 call that's describing what sounds like either extraterrestrials or John Fetterman I'm not sure but I mean all this stuff is just getting blitzed at us in the span of like a year 
year and a half tops. You've got a, a former Pentagon whistleblower or a former Pentagon employee comes out as a whistleblower and says, hey, we've operated on crafts that were not human before. Now, there have been deathbed confessions from various people involved with things like Roswell, Area 51, whatever the case may be. The Pentagon never gave it the time of day, but for whatever reason, the Pentagon felt the need to comment on this. Now, where I'm going with this, we have seen a pattern over the last year and a half of this E.T. alien UFO stuff. I don't think it's actual aliens. I, I do believe we've been visited at some point by beings from another planet. I mean, the universe is massive. The odds that we're alone, not very good. Let's, let's just play the, the law of averages like I'm doing when I'm gambling on the uh, Terrence Crawford fight next month. Let's play the law of averages here. Okay? The odds are not good that we're alone. We have probably been visited at some point in our however many million year history of this planet. It's probably happened, okay? It's probably happened, and they probably landed in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and said, never mind, we're leaving, bye, bye. They, they were in, actually intending to invade us, and they landed in Council Bluffs, and they were like, wow, just leaving this sh shit stain on the country alone is much more damaging than any type of ray beam we could use to exterminate these people with. Um, much more devastating. So I don't think this is aliens. I think they are planning some type of psyop or some type of nasty false flag involving aliens. They're laying the foundation for it. Anytime they start just all of this stuff happening, all of it just happening back to back to back to back in concession. Anytime something like that happens, I start to ask questions. Why are they doing this? Why we never heard about aliens? It was never. A, it was always a, a fringe topic. Mainstream media never talked about it. If they did, they always made fun of it. You know, the government didn't acknowledge it. Now you've got congressional committees about it. You've got NASA press conferences about it for the first time in history. Why are they doing this all of the sudden? I think there's something coming. Keep your eyes peeled. I think in a year, summer of 2024. You're going to see some type of false flag involving aliens, involving UFOs. You're going to see like commercial flights get grounded because they, they came into contact with the UFO. And then they'll just, again, just trickle truth it out, just make it a little bit worse. And right around the election time, they're going to do something stupid. It's just in time for them to do something stupid with the election. Hey, look, look over here. Look over here. Aliens, aliens. A Meanwhile, they're slipping 80,000 ballots into the ballot boxes in Michigan. Right? That, that's what I think the end game here is with this alien stuff. I think they're planning some type of psyop so the aliens can come in and say, hey, the quote unquote aliens can come in and say, hey, we're, hey, you, you guys should totally get a one world government. That would be cool. You should give all the power over to just this small oligarchy. You know, the people that run all the pharmaceutical companies and the intelligence agencies and the defense contractors. That would be super cool. Oh, by the way, there's also no God we made you. Uh, we dropped you off here. There's no God. D d don't worry about that. Don't look into that anymore. I think that's what's coming, because we've talked about it before. There's a reason that government, tyrannical governments hate Christians. They hate various religions, because it's a lot harder to control people who know that you're not the final voice they're going to be answering to. So I could see this. They've tried a lot of stuff. They've tried a lot of stuff to rile us up. They've tried a lot of stuff to... Uh, gain control over us. They've done terror attacks. They've done a virus. They've done climate change. They've done World War III with Russia. Now they're going to try aliens. They're going to try aliens. Aliens are going to be the next excuse to control us with. The next false flag, the next psyop, the next uh, fake attack is going to be aliens. That's going to be the new excuse to take your rights. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's only one place they can go after aliens. If aliens don't work, if we see it for the bullshit it is, like we did with like we did with climate change, like we did with Russia, like we did with, with radical Islam or, or, or right-wing terror attacks, right, you know, with January 6th, if we see through it, like we did with all of their other psyops, and I'm not saying those things weren't real or didn't happen, I'm saying they hyped them up and used them as an excuse to either distract us or take our freedoms or both, right? There's only one thing they can do after aliens, because aliens are jumping the shark. They better get this right. There's only one way to go after that, and it's nuclear war.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.